Hello people and welcome to another video on my channel and today I'm going to be talking about what I did at the Warner Brothers the making of Harry Potter studio tour and my god I have got some beautiful video footage and pictures so yeah let's stop talking and let's start watching so yeah hope you've got your brooms and wands ready and let's do this. So it all started on the 10th of November at 8 o'clock in the morning. We got the coach to North London and then we got into the main hall of the um, studio tour where all the pictures were up and the like big like what would you call it a straw mini kind of thing with like the turning pillars and bits and pieces and here's like a short little video of that what I'm talking about. So we got to the line up of the tour and then we went past the cupboard and the stairs so here's a short little video of what I mean. that and taken a picture and video of course and then we got to the um, inside of the cinema kind of thing because there's like loads of like seats for a cinema and then you have to sit wherever you like really first come first serve kind of thing and we was watching like how Harry Potter was made and J.K. Rowling and bits and pieces and it come to the end of the film kind of thing and we was um, sitting in the chairs and in front of you it come up with the entrance of the Great Hall where the um, statues were and the big golden doors and when it was like shown it was still on the screen and the screen lifted up and behind it was the actual door to the Great Hall which was absolutely amazing and gobsmacking with all the statues and the golden door and stuff so yeah here's a small little sneak peek of that what i'm talking about he was talking about do we have any harry potter fans in the um audience and we all needed shouted yeah and woo woo and all that stuff and the lady picked up two people from like the audience saying oh does anybody have a birthday today and i wanted to put my hand up and said yeah I'll have a birthday today but I don't um, but she picked out two like random children and they had their birthday today and they had the honour to open the doors to the Great Hall which was like amazing for them but more amazing for like anybody who's a Harry Potter fan my god um, so she said push the doors open and welcome to the Great Hall and all this like Harry Potter music started oh my god I was in heaven um, we walked through the doors and we was in the great hall with like the windows, the stained glass windows, the hogs holding the like fire baskets up with all the flames going up and down. And it was the last, it was the last day for the Defence Against the Dark Hearts kind of like theme of like the making of Harry Potter. So there was pumpkins on the ceiling, and there was like the tables all set out with like knife and forks, plates food, jugs, you name it, they had it, and straight in front of you had the, like, six, like, main characters. It had, like, Albus Dumbledore in the middle, Rubius Haygood, Snape, Professor McGonagall, you name it, they had it. My God, they were amazing. And here's, like, a video of how I entered the Great Hall.
So we exit the Great Hall through like a fireplace kind of thing and we got to the part where the um, Goblet of Fire like themed was with all like the like ice crystal palace and all like the cups and jugs were all laid out and all the like food was like laid out on a table and the staircase from the grand staircase in Harry Potter and the Tower and all like the like costumes and makeup and stuff was amazing. You get what I mean with all the like videos which I'm going to show you now.
I've got to the part where Lord Voldemort's costume was on the Grand Staircase, the portrait gallery. My God, now Dumbledore's office was absolutely beautiful. Like the sorting hat, the Dumbledore's clothes, the bedroom behind the back that has never been seen before in any like, Harry Potter film. And then we got to the part where all the like, um, what you call it, the operation part, where all like, the mechanicals, Ford Angular, the motorbike, the um, minecart, and bits and pieces, and like um, the Chamber of Secrets door was absolutely humongous. In the film, it looks so tiny with like the film, and it's like a safe door, really. I've seen safes before in like abandoned places, but this oval like door was like humongous and the snakes were like all mechanical so when the snake turned around they would like pull up and stuff and pull down and that's how the door would open but like amazing so here's like some footage of what I was talking about We carried on walking from around there and we got to like the area of like the Weasley's Kitchen, Malfoy Manor, the Ministry of Magic, Professor Umbridge's office in the Ministry of Magic and Tom Riddle's like gravestone and the Ministry of Magic statue with all like the muggles underneath it holding up in bits and pieces and the sets were huge but absolutely lovely really all like the table set out with Lunagini like sliving up it and with the lady hanging like petrified and it was all like set out how it was in the movie and it was like quite amazing really and here's like um, a video of that now
the Ministry of Magic part and like the death. So we're finished with the Ministry of Magic part and um, Malfoy Manor and the Weasley's Cottage and Bobo. Um, we went to the um, newest part, so I think it's new, about two years ago, um, which was the Forbidden Forest in the grounds of Hogwarts. And the trees, the diameter was like 12 foot long, really, for the diameter. And they're like humongous trees. And you had like the... Um, people who were half men, half horses, what you call them, menators, I think. I think that's what they're called, but I might have got it wrong. So if I got it wrong, put it down in the comments. Um, and we also had the most loveliest character in like Harry Potter, and that was Buckbeak, the like, hippogriff. And my God, it was so lovely when it was like moving, it's like body, it was like so softly moving, and the feathers were like, immensely beautiful because it was like moving like so sloughly and the head bowed like it does in the movies you have to like bow down to like say am I allowed to like fly on your back when you're flying around Hogwarts and stuff and it was like so like touching because it was like you was actually there in front of a real life like mysterious magical animal kind of thing and then you carried on walking through the forbidden forest and you got to the um, spider layer which I don't like spiders myself and there were like spider webs all across like the in between the trees and stuff and the spiders were like like hanging down and climbing up again they're like webs and behind you you would, didn't notice there was a massive humongous spider and that was um, Aragog and that spider was enormous and my goodness I don't like spiders but that spider gave me the shivers <sighs> no that was too big for a spider talking about all of that here's the video of what I mean Forbidden Forest in the Hogwarts grounds and then we come to the platform on of three quarters and then you go through a small corridor with like an archway and in front of you is like the little 
um, set design of like London, of like the train tunnels and stuff. And then when you're walking on the corner, all you just smell is like this um, smoke kind of like effect. Well, it wasn't effect, it was like kind of like real smoke that you get like in like clubs and stuff and like Halloween like parties and whatever to make it a bit more spooky but the effect was so amazing and you turn around the corner and you've got the Hogwarts Express in front of you and now and again it would like um, whistle so it was like at the real platform and it was amazing and it had a shop nearby to buy like any like memorabilia for like the platform on the quarters it had like the platform on the quarters wall with the trolley half in half out and it was like amazing really and then some of the pictures I've taken were like phenomenal really I love that part of the um, Harry Potter with the Hogwarts Express because it's rumoured to be that's the original Hogwarts Express that they used in the film but phew, my god and you was allowed to go inside the carriages just the one long carriage and each um, divided carriage was um, used for each and every film so one carriage was used for um, the first film Fluff of Stone and it was used for the Chamber of Secrets and the film and so on and one of the carriages had like the smoky windows that the Dementor like had its hand on and stuff and you would see like a well a Ron would put his hand on where the window was when they were on the um, what do you call it, the viaduct um, bridge, and that was like a really nice kind of spooky touch to like the carriage. And you carry on to the other carriage, and it had like the um, goblet of fire, and the next one, um, Deathly Hallows, and then part two, part Deathly Hallows, and then the other carriage, it had the um, kind of carriage that. It had the costumes from um, the last film. So it had the costumes from the last film when Harry married Ginny and Ron and Hermione got married and had children. And on the other side of that, it had the um, carriage that Ron and Harry bought the um, sweets off the trolley, which was had a little um, effect to it because it had Scabbers in Ron's lap and the Scabbers the rat head was in the box of Bertie Potts Over Over Beans, which was like a kind of nice touch for it because it was in the film and I suppose they wanted to like make it a bit more film related to it as well. So here's the video of like bits and pieces from that part of the studio tour. outside part of the studio tour and then we got to the night bus, the bridge and the like chess pieces for Widger's chess and you had like the motorbike and the Ford Angular and you had Potter's Cottage and I didn't line up for Privet Drive because there was loads of people 
there, but um, I got some footage of the night bus and the bridge and bits and pieces. And we also got a butter beer itself, and the butter beer was absolutely the world's sugariest and sweetest drink I've ever drunk. And I've drunk quite a lot of sugary drinks in my lifetime, but that one was the sugariest, sugariest and sweetest drink I've ever tasted. But I won't moan, it was quite nice, really. And yeah, I think I got high off that butter beer anyway. I know it's not real beer, but I got a bit high off the um, energy. <laughs> finished with that and then we carried on walking through the like um, makeup tutorial part where they like make the goblins and dead bodies of like the mannequins and stuff for like Dumbledore, Harry and Hermione and you had like a Dobby bit there and you had like the um, skeleton kind of like animals that they use like pull the cabbages and Luna and Lovegood and Harry Potter can see when they're seen deaf or whatever and I've forgotten what they're called but some of you might know what they are and then we carried on walking through different rooms and then we got to um, Diagon Alley and Diagon Alley was the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life the street was cobbled there was like shops either side Gringotts Bank Deaf Eater there oh my god it was beautiful and yeah, here's like a video of like the makeup part and Diagon Alley. And Diagon Alley was beautiful. You see what I mean.
So we finished with Diagon Alley and then we carried on going through like the um, how they like designed and measured like Hogwarts and stuff and the clothing and whatever and we got past the um, clothing part as you see in a video in a minute um, you walk up this like ramp kind of thing and then when you get to the door you turn to the left and you would see this enormous model of Hogwarts and I mean enormous I think it would take like a year and a half to like build really or more and it was so beautiful it had like some of the lights on in the classroom it had like torches on the um, viaduct the windows were lovely and the greenhouses were so stunning I've never seen a thing like that before and my god it was beautiful got to the part of the Hogwarts model and my god I was absolutely gobsmacked of how big it was and how beautiful got to the part of where the shop was and I didn't film anything in the shop because I didn't want to like spoil any like spoilers of whatever I want to buy but yeah that was my tour of Warner Brothers Studios the making of Harry Potter and I'd say that is beautiful of how they laid it out and my god lovely place that is even if you don't like Harry Potter that much, you need to go because it's one a lifetime experience really because it's so far from where I am. I had the chance just to go for like a day and my god you need a lot of like batteries for your camera and a lot of SD cards if you're going to do videos because I used two SD cards and I just ran out of battery on the second one while I was going around the um, model because i would taken so much stuff that day and my god I loved it so much I'd like to go again because there's new things every time there and yeah my god so hopefully you enjoyed the video and comment down below what is your favourite part of the Harry Potter studio tour I think my part is the Great Hall um, Diagon Alley and the model of Hogwarts Express and also Platform 9 and 3 quarters. Those four things are my favourite things out of Harry Potter and the studio tour and making of Harry Potter. My goodness. So what are your favourite four um, things at the Harry Potter studio or the making of Harry Potter? And yeah, that comes to the end of the video. So hopefully you enjoy the video. Don't forget to get a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in another video soon. Over and out. Bye. Hello people and thank you for watching my video. And if you'd like to turn the bell on for notifications so you won't need to miss any videos which I upload. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And also don't forget to follow me on my social medias. The links will be in the description down below. You can follow me on my Facebook page, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat. And also thank you for watching once again. And I'll see you in another video. Over and out. Bye.